In the year 2020, one of the most catastrophic events in the history of mankind happened that changed the course of how men and women interacted with each other forever, which was the death of dating and marriage. This onslaught of events was made possible with the great scamdemic that destroyed families, lives, livelihoods, and the economy, leaving millions of Americans financially destroyed and their hopes and dreams decimated. The group that was hit the hardest were the women who, prior to the pandemic, were the majority of the workforce, but with just the fear of a cough with a 99% recovery rate, they were left out of their jobs, trying to put the pieces of their lives together. This caused a significant change in dating that moved society further and further away from traditionalism and more towards out in the open debauchery like we've never seen before. If you thought hookup culture was the lowest of the low that American XX could degrade themselves to, well, you would be in for a rude awakening. With money being tight and desperation at an all-time high, women reverted back to the oldest profession known to men, which was selling themselves for a nominal fee. We saw the rise of lonely fans, cam girls, insta-thoughts, tiktots, selling their wet vice grip on the street corners, and the rise of spoil me culture, or what I call the sugar daddyism. Sites like Seeking Arrangements, the focus of today's video, is where men with money, also known as the sugar daddies, and the women that want to be spoiled or are desperate, also known as the sugar babies, meet up and engage in a new form of dating, which is prostitution. I know you guys don't want to hear it, but transactional relationships are the future for many different reasons. The main reason is because of how tight the current economy is and will be going forward and the fact that women need help to get through each month. But why is that really the case when before it wasn't so prevalent? Well, women killed marriages and lifetime relationships, which was beneficial for them long term and in tough economic times. So now that they don't have men's protection and the government will only help so much, guess what they decided to do? They decided to reach back to men with money and give them access to the only thing of value they have, which is that sweet sugary walls. Here's the deal, men don't know how significant this is because men forget that 90 years ago, men had to marry a woman to get a piece of pea sleeve. Men had to be up in trees with binoculars to see a woman half or fully naked to have an image of a woman to jag off to. There were no big booty and breastesses out in the open or on a screen teasing men daily. There was no hookup culture for men to get easy access to sex, and there definitely wasn't the decline like what we're seeing now. So you have to understand that times have changed significantly to the point where getting some wet vice grip is the easiest it's ever been in the history of the world. It's so easy now that, just like an Amazon package, you could have it delivered to your doorstep in whatever shape, color, and size you want. You can set up an arrangement if you want it plump and thicker than a snicker. You can have it if you want it young, foldable, and flat-backed. And if you want it in the chocolate, caramel, or vanilla variety, you can have it, gents. With just a tap of a button and a fist full of 20s, shout out to our dark side coordinator, Coach Greg Adams, you can get all the wet vice grips you want without going out in the wild and running game. You don't have to go outside and waste money buying fresh to death outfits just to carry entitled broads out on dates. You no longer have to wait 90 days to get some stank while Chad and Tyrone beat up her sugary walls Roski until she finally decides to give you a little piece of it. No more of that BS guys, you get to skip all that and go to the most direct path of getting what you want by just paying as you've always had. The only difference is she gets the money directly instead of you wasting it on dinner dates and trying to impress her. Dudes, especially game artists and broke ninjas, love to act like there's something wrong with paying women to get what you want. In their eyes, if you don't get it quote unquote for free, then you didn't get her soul or you aren't a real man. Well, Mr. Broke Ninja, did I say I wanted her soul? Mr. Game Artist, did I say I wanted to be a real man? You know what I want, her legs on my shoulder while I'm busting gallons without having to waste time and play coochie games. That's what I want, and I would bet that most men who are on the fence about whether or not to engage in pay-for-play are tired of the BS with modern women. Some of these men just want to bust a nasty nut and move on with life without having to waste their time and money in hopes that they might get a woman to lie in their beds. And you know what, I don't see wealthy men having a problem paying to get some wet vice grip. It's always broke dudes and game artists selling hopium that have a problem with men paying for bedroom fun because it messes with their business. Not even women have a problem selling a piece, so put things into their proper perspective and realize that you can't afford to be moral or cling to traditional values when dating is changing in front of your eyes. We can all agree that women are no longer traditional, so why would any sensible man still try to be conventional and do what has failed for most men in the past? The number of dudes out here that are not getting any stank because of the previous hookup culture and women choosing only the top tier men on dating apps can start getting peace leave if they cast away their morality and have a little bit of money. 
All it would take for incels, virgins, weirdos, low-value men, broke ninjas, men on their grind, men on their purpose, men who went on their own path, free agents, and even the game artist to get some wet vice grip is between $200 to $500, and you can get what you want. Let me ask you this because I know the morality police are irate. How much money does it cost to carry a woman to a fancy date to eat steak or whatever other expensive food just to impress her without the guarantee of beating out the vice grip? Some men over the course of three dates can easily spend upwards of $600 or more, and still, to this day, they haven't seen or smelled that wet vice grip let alone tasted it. But you are telling me that helping a young 18-year-old to buy her college books is unacceptable. If that's your logic, you deserve all the finesse you get. I won't feel sorry for you when ran through women use you as a foodie call and ghost your goofy butt. That would be your fault, sir. Rich men and men of means don't have time to be running gain and cold approaching random women on the streets or at the clubs and bars. That would work against them because most men that got falsely accused were trying to get segs with normie women for free. When you have a reputation and money to protect, you can't afford to be caught lacking by leeches, so it would make sense to just run up on a complete stranger and spit game to hopefully get her to lie on her back. The rich men pay professionals or women selling peace leave on the side, reducing the risks of ending up in court for a false allegation or sexual assault claim. Because it would cost them more money to settle the case or fight in court than if they just paid the money up front, got what they wanted, and moved on with life. That's how it has been for a very long time. With that said, I'm not painting this lifestyle like there is no risk to living this type of life. You'll have to protect your health, money, and life doing these sorts of things, but there are always risks when dealing with women. Unfortunately, you're not going to get the perfect scenario if you choose to deal with them intimately. All men pay for women at the end of the day, but you can decide how you pay though, and I choose to pay them up front rather than on the back end. Look at the amount of money married guys have to pay for their divorce and child support because they wanted peace leave for free. Look at the amount men have to pay for a false accusation. Look at the amount of money that men have to pay for a wedding and suffering. Look at the amount of money men have to pay to go on dinner dates trying to impress the women who are not obligated to give him segs at the end of it. Gents, we all pay in one way or another if you deal with women. If you're living in monk mode or you checked out of relationships, then maybe you don't pay. But if you are out here paying for women's lonely fan subscription, buying girls bath water and boob sweat, then you pay. Period, point blank, and I don't want to hear the BS. Now, I'm not telling you guys to do anything at the end of the day. The choice is yours. I'm just reporting on the new form of dating that is happening right before our eyes in the form of transactional relationships. Women on the CC are now realizing that they might as well start charging dudes to have access to her body and get something out of it instead of nothing. Seeking arrangements is just one form of dating app that facilitates sugar daddyism and transactional relationships. But if you think that this will go away anytime soon, you're out of your mind. The cat's out of the bag now. And it's your future wives who are selling segs on the side to older men for money. I feel sorry for the men who will marry these women, knowing she was selling peace leave to get by. And even pregnant women and dudes are unseeking with their girlfriends looking for sugar daddies. It's over guys. So what should you do if you have an interest or you're just curious about seeking arrangements? Well, set up your profile to completion and actually put some effort into it. If you're not sure you want to take it seriously, then don't purchase any memberships because it's pretty pricey. Make sure you read the person's bio carefully to know if the woman is seeking an arrangement or relationship and DM the girls with whom you can send free messages and see where it goes. Sometimes they will message you and try to set up a meeting with you. So you may or may not have to pay for the membership. Don't be stingy with your money and disrespect these women. Just understand what it is you're getting yourself into and just be straightforward and honest about what it is you want and how much you're willing to pay if you reach that far in the conversation. Now, these are some things you want to do to protect yourself because you never know who is who. Don't give out your government name on these websites. You can add your middle name as your first name, so you remain anonymous to an extent. Don't let the girl come directly to your crib, especially if it's the first meetup. Tell her to meet you somewhere close by and you can drive her back to your place. This is to ensure she doesn't come with men to rob you. When she gets to your home, have her leave her purse and phone outside of the bedroom and make sure she turns her phone off. Some women have been known to drug men or set them up to get robbed, so always be on guard. Provide food to eat and let her know your rules in terms of payment. Whether you'll record the session, voice record, or sign a contract like an NDA, let her know ahead of time. Then when it's time to clap cheeks, wear a rubber to protect yourself. You never know who you're messing with, so you must be careful. And when the interaction is over, pay her the money and don't be stingy on the agreed amount. Do not try to screw over the girl. 
I wouldn't suggest letting this person sleep over at your house if you want to be extra safe. Make sure you carry her back to her home or to her Uber and ensure she reaches home safely. Then to seal the deal get confirmation that she arrived home safely in her bedroom and she enjoyed the interaction via text and you're done. Use common sense, protect yourself as much as possible, and have fun guys. If seeking or pay for play isn't for you, then it is what it is. Don't complain that these women are financing you and you're not getting what you want. And here's a cold RP for you guys who refuse to pay. The women on sites like Seeking who you refuse to pay are the same women you're running game and cold approaching at Starbucks in the morning. A lot of the time, while you're trying to get her number, she's leaking her sugar daddy kids in her drawers right when you're spitting game. So keep that image in your head the next time you're running game. And are all women doing this? No, but enough of them are and more are joining each day looking to get spoiled. It's a cold world we live in gents, you either adapt or get left behind, the choice is yours. Tap the like button and subscribe for more hard-hitting RP content. Share the video with a friend who needs to hear this message so we can help out each other. If you want to donate to the channel or send us any story you might have regarding your experiences with women, the links are in the description box below. Remember gents, all men pay, so choose how you want to.